Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaqeem. And God just put this word on my spirit today to let you know that your faith is being tested. Your faith is being tested. For faith that is not worth testing, is it really faith? Like say I, I got a product I'm trying to sell. Like it's like a hair product. And I think it's the best hair product in the world. I got my faith in this product. So I'm gonna go out here and sell my product to people. I'm gonna have to look like I got faith in my product. I'm gonna have to look like this product is the best. Because if I look like I don't have no faith in this product, that it's not gonna be good. Or I'm, I'm constantly anxious. I'm constantly worried. I'm constantly doubting my own product. Then how can people look at me and say I got faith in this product as well and that's the same thing with your walk with Christ see when people see your faith that you strongly rooted in Christ you strongly rooted in God your faith can move mountains oh there's a scripture that just came to my mind by one man disobedience many were made sinners but by one man's obedience many are saved Woo! in jesus name that is a fact that's so true so is your faith worth testing is your faith worth betting on can god bet on you like he did job can God bet on you like he did David? You got to ask yourself these questions, right? We're going to start off with the parable of the sower. Amen. So this is the parable of the sower. You read it in Mark. And it says, the sower soweth the word. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard... Satan cometh immediately and take it away the word that was sown in their hearts. Satan comes immediately to take out the word that was sown in their hearts. You can see this in the world today. When we have street preachers going out preaching this gospel to all different nations, all different cities. And then you got these people who come out the blue. Satan comes immediately, Satan's children. To take the word. To take the people away. You ever see somebody, a preacher talking to somebody. Then, you know, say it's a man or a woman. The girl snatch them away. Or her man come and snatch her away. When you're trying to preach the gospel to them. That what they mean. Satan cometh immediately. And taking away the word. Woo! That was put and sown in their hearts. Mm. And these are likewise which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately received it with gladness. And this is the next type of people that are given the word of God, who receive it with gladness. It's nutrients to their bones, it's nutrients to their ears, it's nutrients to their soul. They receive it with gladness. But, and have no root in themselves and so endure but for a time afterward when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake immediately they are offended man 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 i done seen this myself these are what i call seasonal believers these are the seasonal believers people who receive the word of gladness. They love the Lord. They love Jesus Christ. You know, in the beginning, they're on fire for God. But as uh, persecution and afflictions arise, they become offended. For blessed are those who are not offended in the Lord. Mm. I just got a new found understanding of that verse just recently. That what he mean. Like, blessed are those who are not offended by doing his work. Who are not offended by his words. 
who's not offended by his truth. Blessed are those. Amen. But these people, they have no root in themselves. Like those are people who speak like they love God, but their hearts be far from him. Their hearts be far from him. Amen. And next, and these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in choke the word and it becometh unfruitful now these are the people the believers who just feel like they're missing out you no know, they're missing out on money they're missing out on the things of the world they're missing out on you know the foods the clothing the materialistic things and by entering into these things you know the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. By entering into these things, it chokes the word out. For God said, if you love the world, the love of God is not in you. If you choose the world over God, how can you make his kingdom fruitful here on this earth? For you cannot serve two masters. You can't serve God and mammon, which is God and money. Mm. And therefore you will become unfruitful Like I said Is your faith worth testing? Amen Now here is the last Amen And these are they which are sown on good ground Such as hear the word and receive it And bring forth fruit Some thirtyfold Some sixty and some in hundred. Amen. Glory be to God. And there's some of y'all out here. We all hear the word. Y'all receive it with your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole body. And you going out here and you bringing forth fruit. You out here preaching. You out here spreading the word. You out here telling people about how God blessed your life, how he saved you. Just, how, just like how Jesus cleansed that man who had legions of demons inside his vessel. And Jesus told him now go back into the city and tell them what I have done for you today. And that's what he did. For he had strong faith because he seen and felt the mighty works of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And those are the ones who God will bless. Like he said, he will bless you. God is not a man that he shall lie. Thirtyfold, sixtyfold, a hundredfold. Blessings, all blessings, all blessings. Amen. Glory be to God. And that's just the parable of the sower. Y'all should we read those. It's a good parable. It's a good parable. Amen. But now we're going to go over to 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12 through 14. And this says, Beloved, Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange things happened unto you. So think it not strange when things come your way, when temptations, when agents, when all these trials are coming before you, think it not strange, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings. That when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. <whistles> on their part, he is evil spoken of. But on your part, he is glorified. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Let's go. Amen, bro. This got me on fire. I should be on fire for God every single day. For this is the day the, the Lord hath made, and we shall be glad in it. Woo! I'm on fire for the Lord. Amen. But yeah, you got to make sure that you think it's not strange when people come against you, when your family going against you, co-workers, for you are just partakers of Christ's suffering. But when you have that faith 
and you believe, you will have the portion of the Lord when Christ is revealed unto this world. So, we live in this season right now where your faith will be tested. All the people who say they love God, all the people who say they love Christ, there will be a time your faith will be tested for what is faith that is not worth testing. I pray this word bless you. I pray you got edified from this video. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all my new subscribers. God bless you all, and peace and blessings.